Right, this tutorial is going to show you how to use frame by frame animation. Um, and traditionally, it's usually done like this you have a frame, and then you might draw the start of what you want to happen, and then you press F6, um, and then you draw the continuation and press F6 again, and keep going and keep going and keep going. And eventually, if you scrub your timeline, you can see that it's made frame by frame animation, like Mickey Mouse style. Um, that's not what we're going to do today. We highlight that, hit remove frames, and I missed one. Let's try that again and press Control-A to delete everything. Cool, what we're gonna do is use frame-by-frame -frame animation to create um, fade-in and fade-out effects. Uh, what we're gonna do is just create a shape. I'm just gonna draw a square in here, um, and then I'm gonna highlight it, convert it to a symbol. I'm gonna make it, gonna call it Red Box MC because it's gonna be a movie clip. Make sure it's not a button just yet. Um, and this is gonna be um, our first sort of fade in, fade out effect in a moment, but we're gonna right click on it first and say break apart, and then right click on it again and say convert to symbol and turn it into a button. And we're gonna call this one a red BTN. Um, the reason why I did that is because I wanted them all to be in the exact same location on my stage, um, and it just makes it a bit easier. So if we double click on that, um, we get our standard up over down hit. Uh, what we wanna do is press F6 a few times, um, and then on the over area, we're gonna delete that. And the outline, of course, as well. And then go to our library and grab the red box MC, which we made just before, and drag it onto our stage. Um, and then we wanna try and make these Xs line up and the little snap options will come up. There it is. And now it's perfectly aligned uh, with the one before. Okay, um, and now uh, the reason we've done that is because now we have a movie clip in the place of where the over is and what we're gonna do is make this movie clip fade. What we might do also is on the up option here, we're gonna highlight this, turn this into a movie clip and we're just gonna call it still MC because um, we wanna make it fade and to make stuff fade, you need to turn it into a movie clip um, so that you can access its alpha properties. So here on the one we just made there, which is the still MC, we're gonna go to style alpha and we're gonna fade it out to 50%. So it's slightly faded, that's its default fade. And then on over, um, we have our um, red box MC that we made before. Now this is where we are gonna add some animation. So double click in that, we're gonna go inside this movie clip and we're gonna do some frame by frame animation in here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is highlight this again, convert to symbol, and we're gonna call this one fade in MC. So uh, if you've seen the movie Inception, uh, this is pretty much like this. We've gone like the dream inside the dream, inside the dream, inside the dream. Anyway, so many levels of dreams. Um, now we're gonna animate this. So uh, we're gonna change our alpha to 50, because that's what it um, is by default when it's um, on up. And then what we're gonna do is F6, and we're gonna change it to 60. And then we're gonna do F6 again, and we're gonna change it to 70. And I'm just gonna keep doing this until I make it to 100. So I'm just gonna fast forward. There we go. So if we have a look at this, it fades in and becomes solid. Um, this will just keep spamming unless we put some kind of action script in to control it. So make a new layer, press F6 here on this last frame and press F9 to bring up the actions layer. Um, and we're gonna write stop. Open close bracket semicolon. Um, and so it'll start here and finish here. Um, so go back once and go back again and we should have our button just here. So if we press control enter to test it out, as you roll over it, it fades in gently. All right, next up we are going to make it fade back out again. Um, so to do this double click, on our button um, and go to up. And um, we called it, uh, I believe, what do we call it? Still MC last time. So we're gonna double click on still MC and we're gonna change it here. But of course we don't wanna have to do all that again because that took ages. So go back once, go to the over one, which we just made, double click that. You'll get our timeline here. We're gonna click and highlight those, copy frames. Um, then go back to red BTN, go to the up, double click on that, right click, say, paste frames um, and of course it's the exact same thing as before but what we want to do is reverse them so click and highlight and then reverse frames. Uh, we also have to put a new layer on 
and put in the stop command like we did last time. So F9, stop. And now if we go back to our scene, press Control Enter, pops up. It'll do a bit of a fade at the start, but over, fades in, comes off, fades out again. And there you go, you've made frame by frame animation um, and used it to make interactivity with your buttons. Thanks for watching.